should be live. Folks should be able to see us and hear us. And uh, we are back with another BX Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Still playing in Castle Amber. Everyone still miraculously alive, although I still believe Bill's character Radnar is still stone blind. Yeah. <laughs> So nothing. maybe, <laughs> maybe that'll get fixed in this adventure. We will have to find out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, there's that. There's that. Um, so casting characters tonight, Bill, why don't you start us off? Who are you playing? What class are they? What level are they? I am playing Radnor the Large. He is a seventh level magic user and he is rather large and blind. And blind currently. And blind yes. currently. That, that seems to be the thing. Uh, and Dion? Hello, I'm Dion. I'm playing a C, the level 7 human thief. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jeff? I am Jeff, and I'm playing Darby of Stonehill. He's a 7th level dwarf. Mm. Richard? Hi there, I am Richard, and I am playing <clears throat> Fig Jam, the level 7 magic user. And bringing up the rear, Jameis. Hey, I'm playing Galen Rayhorn, the sixth level Cleary Elf Priest. And I just realized, aside from Radnor, I'm the longest serving character here. And yet I'm only sixth level, and everyone else is stronger than that. That's me. <laughs> that Got is it. how it rolls old school. <laughs> so, last adventure, we stopped on kind of a cliffhanger. You guys have found kind of like the basement of Castle Amber and did some exploring all kinds of interesting little rooms down here including a laboratory of some sort uh, a member of the amber clan painting on a wall on a gel sail uh, and just all kinds of fun but we ended last episode with you guys finding the arc the or arch that is supposed to take you uh, to another plane another place however when that door was opened uh, something large and vicious leaped out at you, and that's kind of where we ended the last episode. So uh, we are in room 57, just off there on the edge of the screen, unfortunately, but you kind of saw it. Um, and I believe it was Galen who opened the door, wasn't it? Could was it? Wrong. I don't remember, actually. I <laughs> no it was, it could have been. Out. I'm not saying it's not. Yeah. I'm just saying I don't remember. Pretty it sure sounds it was like Galen. something that Jay Hall, Galen would do. Yeah, he yes. Door yes. Yeah, yeah, extraordinaire for us. <laughs> he will leave no door uh, to deter your progress. This is true. Uh, okay, so let me get to my box here. So it's a giant amber lion. Kind of a stone-like consistency. You, you need think it's another one of these golems like you uh, saw in that original boxing ring. Uh, it's got that same colored skin tone, except this time it's in the form of a giant lion. So, uh, let's go ahead and start with initiative. Galen, since you're the one who opened the door, why don't you roll for your side? Uh, everyone can kind of see it through the door, so is anyone casting? Oh, I never thought about casting. No, neither I'm, not used, I'm not used to having spells. Nothing that would be. I have nothing that would be useful in any kind of combat. Okay, nice offensive. rolling. I have no yeah. offensive capabilities. Uh, yes, you are. Uh, you weren't taken by surprise. Uh, we, I think we got that out of the way last round, uh, last episode. But if we didn't, I'm going to say you didn't. Uh, so you react first with that six. So Galen, you're standing in the doorway. The, this lion leaps at you. What's your reaction to this? I'm going to tuck and roll underneath the lion and come up behind him. Okay. Uh, I tell you what. You make me a dex check. If you Here's do... where it all falls over. Here's it, where it all falls over. If you succeed, uh, well, which you didn't, but you have a fair number of re-rolls. What's our re-roll count? Dion? We have... Five. Ooh, not as much as I thought. Yeah, I thought we got a, like a bunch last time that we didn't use. Um, so, Galen, are you re-rolling or are you going to keep that? The failure will mean that you collide with it instead of getting all the, all, all the way under it. Yeah, I'm happy to collide. Galen was, was big. Galen's not an acrobat. All right, Galen. above his abilities. Stop, drops, and rolls. 
uh, and fortunately does not clear the beast. So you end up hitting its four limbs and just are stopped right in front of it. Prone, I'm going to say, with that failure. Uh, who wants next? Who was next in the doorway? <laughs> All right. Uh, a C put was, his hand up first. It was so. Jeff or me. I couldn't remember who was next after Galen. That hand went up awfully fast, Dion. I'm going to say it was a C was next in line. What do you want to do as your eyes go wide as you see this lion that was launching itself at Galen, who just dropped, maybe on purpose so that it would go after you? Who knows? But what do you do? Uh, brace myself behind my sh uh, bladed shield. Okay. I still have that, right? Yeah, edge shield. I brace myself behind it. All right, so you're going to kind of like just take a defensive action then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you standing upright or are you squatting down and kind of getting behind it? I am squatting and bracing. Okay. I saw the whole mess ahead of me happen, and I'm like bracing for impact now. All right, uh, Jeff, whose character's name is not Talina. Sorry, I apparently missed fixing that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he is, in fact, Darby. Darby the dwarf. Uh, you're next in line. Yeah. So I everyone, in so picture this. Everyone in front of you is basically dropped, so the thing is coming at you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll strike it with my sword. <laughs> All right. Um, well, technically, it hasn't cleared the room yet. So do you want to... Uh, hey, you trip over me, too. So. You, uh, you could just step right on that shield of Assis since he's kind of covered up by it and launch it's, yourself it's, at it. It is bladed on the edges. That's the edges. Cool. He can step right okay. in the middle. <laughs> okay, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> so, Dion... Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, if you want to do that... Uh, you can make me a dex check. If you make it, uh, I will allow you to launch off that shield and go ahead and attack the thing and just kind of leapfrog over everyone else. If you can fell, I, you're going to do a spectacular help? nose drive and end up on the floor with Galen. <laughs> can I help? Can I, like, give him a boost up? Like, no, up? no. No? <laughs> no. Okay. okay, so dex check? You can't hold still so that this can happen, though. Yes, make a dex check. Success. Okay, uh, it's low success, so it is not particularly graceful. But you plant your boots on a sea shield and you launch yourself at the creature. So you can go ahead and make an attack roll now. And that I'm going to put you in front of. Well, you're going to be like striding, a stride, Galen, who's going to be down on the floor near you. I hope I won't fall up on him. <laughs> so. Go ahead and give us an attack roll. Minus hey. two. Nice. Six yeah. points of damage. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you, What's your weapon right now? It's a sword. Okay. So this, this sword scours a line down its side, but its hide is, in fact, kind of stony and dense. And uh, your blade pops a few sparks here and there. It does seem to leave like a, a small very shallow wound on its hide so it looks like you did do some damage but nowhere near what you think it should have done okay. uh who's next fig jam radnar oh i can go next okay no problem. i mean it's only another stone big cat i dealt with the jay jaguar pretty easily so you know um i guess i would like to draw out my staff and smack it on the nose but, yeah, same I, thing. So you've got an AC in front of you, uh, kind of hunkered and, down on a shield. And then I get on my staff and wait okay. for the door to be cleared, I guess. That's... Yeah. Well, I can, mm, there's two people ahead of you. If you want, if you want, I can give you reach on your staff, and you can reach out with your staff and bop it. Oh, it's already... Healing style. All Just right, hide okay. behind my shield with me and go over me. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll try that. Yeah. We'll try that. Why not? Yeah, you shove the end of your staff into it. Go ahead and make me an attack roll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me. Cat <laughs> thing. I killed another of your guys. Fear my mighty staff. Oh, uh, wow. I hit AC 14. <laughs> that no, that, that does not. <laughs> I think that so. does not. Happy with that, or you want to use one of your precious few re-rolls? Uh, re no, it's not Okay, okay, leaving Radnar. Last in line, you've got uh, several people in front of you. I'm for a fireball. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to use my newfound powers of echolocation. Okay. 
to cast Magic Missile at the beast. All right. But, but I probably can't do that, can I? Um, how are you getting the echo location again? I vaguely remember this from last game. Um, because uh, the great god um, um, Gilbertius <laughs> uh, granted it to me. <laughs> Okay, I tell you what. Uh, make I'm me just wisdom, making shit up. <laughs> make me a wisdom check, okay. and I will say that uh, if you get uh, a mediumish success, uh, anywhere from nine up, and still under your wisdom, uh, its roar is kind of directional enough. Of course, you have no idea if someone's standing between you and it. So let let's see. Go ahead. Well, that's why I'm saying magic missile because if I know where it is. Yeah, I'll give it to you. So this was just kind of a roll, uh, just to see. Uh, typically, I would say no, because Magic Missile requires sight. It, it is one of the things. But uh, I think this is just cool. The echolocation thing is kind of cool. And you rolled well enough, uh, assuming your wisdom right. is assuming your wisdom is over 10, right? Yeah, my wisdom is 11. I okay. rolled a 10. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not bad. So I uh, just... Go ahead and cast your magic missiles. You're casting it at whatever it is that's roaring ahead okay. of you there. I get three, D miss three missiles at 1d6 plus one each. So... You know, I think Radnar got echolocation when he was a skull. Because they don't have ears. I mean, have, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and that stayed when he turned into a body. What a way I to mean... sell it, Dion. Awesome. <laughs> That if they sucks, have tons but... either to produce the clip samples. <laughs> All right, so I did, I did eight points of damage <laughs> with my screaming skull echo located magic missile. Okay, now re rolls can be used on any roll that you roll. So, do you want to re roll or do you want to keep it? I, I I'm gonna say no, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I re roll that? Because that is kind of shitty damage. Uh, <laughs> I would say I'm okay with it because it's magical damage. And right. this, yeah. 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 Let's 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 yeah, do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do much worse. Okay, there we go. Uh, so uh, that definitely uh, put a cramp in its style as the magical flaming skulls kind of chew into its body, breaking off pieces of the stone here and there. But it is still functional. And it's its turn now, and uh, the tasty mm -hmm. morsel that's in front of it, um, and it trips over me and falls over. <laughs> uh, is uh, is Darby? So Darby, unfortunately, uh, let's see how many attacks. Oh, actually, he has three attacks. Okay, so it's gonna three, do four, two five. into Darby with his four claws, and then it's gonna rake Galen on the floor with its rear claws. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, first roll on you. Darby is going to miss. Ooh. Second one. That might hit. What's your AC? I hit AC 5. What are you? Uh, AC 1. Uh, that's going to miss. And Galen on the floor. You don't get your dex bonus, but that's still going to miss you. I don't have a dex bonus. Okay. Anyway, so. All right. Uh, so, yeah, it lashes out, clawing, biting, raking, but uh, none of its furious blows land on anyone uh, with any kind of significance at all. So, next round. So the position is uh, we have Galen standing above the prone, or excuse me, we have um, Darby standing above the prone form of Galen. Those are up front. A C is next in line, uh, down on a knee with his shield up, Fig Jam behind, and then Radnar behind Fig Jam. Uh, so let's go ahead and have Darby roll for your side, and is anybody casting? Nice. I don't hear anyone casting. Oh, technically, did Rednor say he was casting last time? Uh, meh. Yeah, well, Maybe not. How about this time, Rednor? Are you casting this time? No, I, I want to hide this time. Okay, you fumble around in the dark, <laughs> or maybe you just drop. <laughs> you hide yeah, I mean, staff. whatever, whatever works, man. I'm... All right, so you guys go first, Darby. Uh, why don't we start with you? I'll try again with my sword. Go ahead. Uh, uh, we'll take the first one. That'll hit. And yeah. uh, six points of damage. Again, your sword barely does damage to it, uh, but it does. 
It, it does carve off a little bit of stone there. Right. All right. It's a magical sword. Eh? Yes. Uh, Galen? And I stand up somewhere that I'm not going to say square is going to die. <laughs> Um, Since we don't actually have a map, I can't see. Right, so you're, so the way I see this is uh, you and Darby are right outside of the door. The thing is attacking from within, like, just within the door frame. So you can just go to the side. You can crawl to the side or roll to the side. Left or right to either side of the door frame is fine. Or I could do something stupid. <laughs> well, that's always the fun answer. Yeah. Exactly. So shield, no, if you have a shield, we're saying heavy. So shield up to sort of crawl in under, try and get under the animal and around using the shield to, because he's going to step on me and rake me. Into it. So okay. Uh, That's what I'm going to be spinning. So, so, I, I, so I'm not going to be able to get. I want another dex check to be able to do Ooh. this without, uh, oh. without the thing just basically standing 50, on 50 50. <laughs> right uh you start doing that and uh essentially it just walks and just stands on top of your shield pinning you to the ground <laughs> uh all right yeah, no that's fair <laughs> uh so that is right. that is uh galen and darby that would make a c you're next in line did you want to do yeah. something or do you want to stay under yeah. that shield am i in melee range yes you are I'm pulling out that frozen slime tentacle that I still got because it hasn't thawed yet. It's not, we haven't rested, so I haven't really had a lot of time. It's a club. And yeah, yeah it's an improvised club because I've seen that sword like make sparks off that thing. And I'm like, ah, uh, I just want to bash it. So I just bam sure. with this lurking slime creature tentacle. Go ahead. Make me an attack roll if you hit. Uh, Oh, it's a frozen piece of meat. We'll say D6. Uh, that is going to miss, though. Womp. Okay. I right. still... So it just... it just kind of sidesteps your blow. Mm-hmm. All right. Fig Jam, you're next in line. Oh, it's time to try and hit it with the big stick again. I mean... Yep. That's what we got here. Let us see. Yoink. Automatic Ooh, nice. hit. Yes, right. uh, you hit. Uh, do a little bit of damage to it. Uh, it it also it is buddy stuff of striking, which does two d six yes. magic damage if it has charges, and I have no idea how many charges because yep. you say you're not allowed to know. So mm -hmm. here is an additional two d six. So three plus four. Three plus four. Okay. That's great. Seven. Yeah. Seven points um, yeah. I mean that did it. Yeah fair amount of damage. It's looking a little rough now. There's cracks Bad. running through its form, but it's still up. Bad lion. Uh, Radnar, you said you're going to duck and hide, right? Yep, yep. Okay, yep. so you just start wandering off in a direction that you hope that it can't reach you. <laughs> I'm going away from the roar. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, all right, it's turn. Uh, it has it's standing on top of Galen, uh, pinning him to the ground, <laughs> and is uh, Darby's in front of him. So it's going to do uh, this time. He's going to rake twice at Galen below him, and uh, one on Darby in front of him. Darby, here's yours. Uh, sh that's going to miss. And Galen miss. miss <laughs> it's actually just raking up your shield so <laughs> since you were under your shield it's just kind of tearing at your shield and isn't able to get through to you all right next round uh yeah let's have galen let's have you uh well actually i tell you what uh let's have a c let's have a c roll for your side is anyone casting? <laughs> Wow, another six. Injury screech. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so no, nobody casting? Uh, Bill, let me have you roll a die. It uh, doesn't matter what die, just even odd. I want to see which direction, you, because you can only go east or west. So I'm going to just randomly see which direction you start heading okay. into. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe. Mm. Okay. All right, the creature goes on a six. It's a simultaneous oh. round. So I'll let you guys do everything, and then uh, I will let him do it at the end. But even if you kill him, he will still get his attacks in. Uh, who wants first, Darby, Galen, either one of you, or like right there, a C? I'm 
Can I? All right. Can, can uh, I shove? Is that a thing with my shield? Can I like? What a shield bash it? Rush him a off Balin. Yeah, the thing is seemingly made of like dense stone. You and, think uh, that it's that probably? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is that too. <laughs> Oh, Darby's in front of me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Sweet. Um, <laughs> I'll try to whack it with the tentacle again, real quick. Okay. Go ahead. Just... It's starting to thaw in your hand. At least the base part yeah. of it. Uh, hit AC three with a one point of damage. Okay, so you do hit it. Uh, okay. It just kind of glances off Lap. it, but it does break a little chunk of rock <laughs> off of it. I'm helping. <laughs> Darby, okay, Galen, since, who wants next? Since it's on top of me, I'm yeah. now going to move the shield around. Basically, I'm just trying to lower his defenses by putting him off balance. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, make me a strength check. If you succeed... We'll worry about it. If I don't... Yeah. You, you, will, you <laughs> will... Okay, so you succeed. Low success. I'll make his armor class uh, one worse for that. I was going to give you up to three worse, depending if it was a, a low, medium, or high success. So low I'm success, really one worse. Yep. Darby. Oh, no. Yeah, let's try it. AC zero. That hits five points of damage. Uh, this time a big crack forms like right through where its spine is and seems to be like a uh, pretty deep fissure this time. Uh, it's as it moves around, a lot of the rock starts to shift and fall off. That seems like it was a good solid hit. Uh, uh, see that happen. I'm just like, yeah. I loosened it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Big jam. Uh, I guess we will try and strike it with the staff again. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, reach I, through and just kind of yeah. shove the staff into it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because of what uh, Galen did, it is oh, now I... AC 7, but 13 is way miss. No, yeah, I... <laughs> What am I even rolling to get? A, no, I don't know. <laughs> All yeah, right. So yeah. I miss horribly. Yeah, it's just uh, four. You're just off, <laughs> off no, target. No, no, no. Uh, Radnar. If you hover over the value, it'll give you the consistent one. Uh, you are now exceptional. Uh, hearing uh, has you. Let's see, which room is this? All right, so uh, you pass by, uh, you know, you got your hand out so that you can feel where the walls are, and you pass by a room again where you hear uh, sounds of uh, gnawing. Right? Just, <laughs> things chewing. Yep, that's it. You, you, you continue to move along. Uh, next round, let's go ahead and have Fig Jam. Um, your side. It has an attack. Oh, that's right. It has an attack. And yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You're the one who's about to be attacked. Galen, you're still under it and you're shifting Being and moving. Fear to the game. <laughs> shifting and moving. So it's going to it's gonna rake you three times. It's going to use all of its attacks on you because Come you're on. causing it to, to do bad things. Oh, um, uh, one hits definitely. Uh, I have an AC of two. Okay, uh, one hit. Okay, one hit. Okay. It finally hit something. Oh, do 25 points of damage and kill me. Oh. How about seven? Seven points of raking damage as it tears Ow. through your shield. <laughs> just burrows this, this line of, of pain and fire down your middle section. And uh, again, next round, let's have you roll Fig Jam. Is anybody casting? No. All right. Still D6, in. you want? D6. Can I keep up with a six? A six. Wow. A six. <laughs> it's a knife for high rolls. Uh, All right. Turns in a row. So who wants to I go first? There's a whole bunch of folks that can go first, so who wants to go first? I'm, I'm going to do the same thing again. Just You're going to try and do the same thing? All right, make me in another strength check. On high. Oh. Failure. Nope, he gets his nah. full armor class. I'm kind of hurt, but ow, ow, ow. Uh, EC 13 <laughs> is going to miss, Dion. Womp. Your, uh, your club is getting a little noodly in your hands as it thaws. Darby hits. <laughs> eight points of damage. Darby, there's a huge sound of a crack, and it loses one of its legs. It's now a tripod lion, but it's still fighting on. Who's oh, next? Oh, uh, time to kill Steel, then. Yeah, yeah, good. let's go, Big Jam. Uh, let's still get some attack, though, unfortunately. Yep. I don't care. 
It's not hitting me. <laughs> No, it would have hit good. if if uh, Galen's shield moving tactic worked, but uh, it did not. It's all your fault, Galen, that I have not killed Stevie. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's everybody with Radnar continuing down the hallway. Radnar, yeah, I'm just, I'm still getting out of here. Radnar, know. make me a D6 roll. D6. Yeah. All righty. Let us make a D6 roll. Okay. Well, the good news is I don't think it'll attack me three times. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> what languages do you speak, Rednar? Ah, uh, that is a good question. Um, I wrote it down last time this came up. And did I write it on here? Oh, plus French. Um, oh, yeah, I did write it. Uh, I speak Draconic, French, Elvish, and Infernal. Okay. I wrote down French. I don't know, remember what that's about, but <laughs> evidently the my language character... they were speaking in the council. The language yeah, speech. yeah. You guys spent like six. What was it? Six months? Nine months? Whatever it was in the yeah. bubble, <laughs> learning French. <laughs> Gotta be taught you. Uh, well, Radnar, you're not part of the combat per se, but why don't you roll a d6 for your side? Okay. Actually, I didn't roll for the monster yet. I no. Yep. So here we go. I'm gonna do two on. I'm gonna do two on Darby. Uh, what's your AC, Darby? One. Nope. Okay. And one on Galen, also a miss. Okay. So Radnar, you rolled what for the uh, initiative? A two. Two. Yeah. Oh, you broke the streak. Yeah. It still got a six though. So here we go. It's going to do its three. That, that's it's... our six, not your six. Give it back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do three attacks into Darby because Darby really hurt it. Uh, that's 16 oh. at the end will hit. All right, Darby, six points of damage as it rakes into you. It uh, is now walked off of Galen, so the Galen is not right under it. So Galen, you're behind it now. Uh, as it kind of moved forward to engage uh, to engage Darby, uh, that's its action. So who wants first? Who wants first? Can I stand up and attack, or is standing up my card? Uh, standing up is uh, a move. Uh, yeah, you can if it's an attack. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, just to go with it because I haven't. I can't be bothered. I'm gonna try and shield better just because I got my shield there okay. already, and I can't be bothered with the nice stuff. Uh, so what was that, a strength attack? Strength roll? Or well, attack uh, roll it's, it's or an attack roll. Okay, attack roll. I'll roll the d20 and then I'll kill. I don't care. Gonna miss. Right. Yep. Yeah, it's a, you just you, you stand up quickly, a little too quickly, throws you off balance, and you swipe it with your shield, and this goes wide. So, uh, a C or Darby, you guys are next. Uh, who wants it? Uh, I'll go real okay, quick. Okay, go for it. Whack! AC7, no. unfortunately that misses. All right. Darby! Yeah. I will receive 10. And it's also going to miss. It's up to Fig Jam! <laughs> of course it is. Why would it not? Fig Jam will try and hit it with its staff. Bad. Lion, where is your pride? Oh, you hit. I see two. And you kill it with one point of damage. Uh, uh, nice. <laughs> Woo ha! Just, Just hanging on to like, the end. The so there is a, a sharp crack sound as the uh, the creature just divides in half as uh, one of the cracks develops too much for it to hold itself together and just kind of falls. Meanwhile, Radnar, you hear some <laughs> some creatures speaking uh, in the darkness. What's it? Humans, blind humans. Good to eat. Not while alive. Make it not live. Why don't you come here and find out? <laughs> oh, human got fighting spunk. Human, you want food? Or you be food? I don't know. How do you taste? <laughs> Something uh, wet and meaty is slapped into your face and hands. <laughs> I, I set off a fireball centered on myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to have you roll. Uh, so yeah, there's an eruption of light and flame and the sounds of like falling brickwork, uh, coming down further in the corridor as you guys are oh, God. 
I, I kind of like, as we kill the tiger, I then hear the explosion behind us, mm. and I just look behind me at Fig Jam. I'm like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get my 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 wizard. <laughs> I go off to go look for him. The nice thing about it is Radnar is that the hunk of meat that was placed in your hand and battered about your face is now cooked. It smells fine. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's something I, I can do, man. You know. I know who he encountered, and I don't want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I see there's uh, ghoul bits scattered all over the place. Still, since oh. they've got kind of oily skin, they're still blazing brightly. He's huming and he's holding. Um, Radnar's holding like the uh, the forearm piece of some poor human in his hand, which has been cooked. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't eat that if I were you. I, that was that's people. Like that. I, yeah. I kind of uh, did they come out of the room that the ghouls were chilling in before uh these ghouls yeah they came out of the room this all happened in the hallway is the door still open from that room they nope, were in it's closed okay looks like they I, were just eating on some stuff in the hallway i'm gonna open it and peek in real quick are there any left in that room there's some still chilling out over the hole but they don't they just kind of look at you and just wave I look, and I see them again. I'm like, hey, guys, uh, we killed a big tiger. It was kind of cool. I toss the, the lurking slime creature tentacle in there. I'm like, I don't know if you guys will eat this, but I, I don't need it anymore. So, like, thanks for being cool, you know? <laughs> One of them goes close over, the door. <laughs> picks it up, and just gives you that. <laughs> <laughs> I do this, and I just slowly close the door, and then I go back over to Radnar. And I'm like, all right, come on. It's safe now. I'll take you back. <laughs> All right. Uh, so those of you that are in the room, so the giant lion kind of broke into just it's a rubber, uh, just a, a rubble of amber now. So it's like it's just kind of this yellow glass like stuff all over the place. Uh, yeah, it I'm it actually has that. a value, by the way. Uh, you yeah, magic I'm users. through that to pick up my uh, chunk of uh, cat that I have defeated. Yep. Because I've still got the chunk of jade from the last cat, so I yep. want a chunk of amber now as well. Okay. <sighs> Just a chunk, or do you guys want to divide up the whole line? The whole thing is worth about 5,000 gold if you take it all. I love it. I don't know that we can carry that much. I mean... That's yeah, a lot of coin weight. We've kind of maxed out our limits at some point or another. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, apparently embedded in the form of this lion is a scroll. So, I mean, Fig Jam, you find that. probably read that. Yeah. Uh, you have seen it twice before. It is the scroll that's to those who would be free. Oh. It, it's exact same, uh, exact same penmanship. It's the same words. Um, and no, nothing different about it. I, hmm. I wonder. So this was Curious. a traveler who came here? No. I, th I think no. it was just something to like, you know, if you defeat this thing, then you get a clue. To oh, stuff, it's another clue. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought it was clue, the same. Oh, yeah, the same one. Okay. I, I, I will say this is one of the first early modules that uh, they use the don't have just one place to find a clue. Right. So they, they place something that you have to have to beat the module in several different places, which was pretty cool. Great. Yeah. Well, I'm just in case something weird is going with this. I mean, we're in this room. Presumably, there's some sort of torch or something. I just wanted to see mm -hmm. if, we, if it will burn. Uh, see if the uh, the scroll will burn. The it scroll does. Will burn. Yeah, I mean, got it, two it, just, it just goes right up. All right, it's not a magical thing. Mm -hmm. That's fine then. That's great. So the uh, the gate is Oops, in this sorry. room as well. That was the other big thing. Right. Um, are we relaxed enough so I could meditate? We could probably take a nap. I well, the door is nap. still intact, so you could just bar off the door and go inside if you want and just take a... I mean, does that even matter if we bar the door or not? So so the question is, do you kind of set up for camp? Oh, no, because yeah. we can just zap and zap out as it were with the time bubble, so you don't really need to. The thing is, we have to be in a relaxed enough place that we can just... Yep, zone that's out. kind of what I'm asking. Are you kind of settling down like you're going to start... Uh, a camp or uh, a rest. I think in this room, yeah, we can just close the door once we get everyone gathered in and just relax okay. for a minute, take a breather. Now, what I plan on doing, I'll get through this plan, even though how much of it works, 
cast cure disease on Radmore when that doesn't work and afterwards that I'll get cure or remove curse to cast that on Radmore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But so yeah, so first thing is cure disease and if that when, when that doesn't work, so that doesn't work. Do you have any spells left? Oh yeah, I've got a fair few. So you pop a couple healing spells <laughs> in me. <laughs> Just sleep. You'll be fine. Oh, we fully heal when we sleep? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I'm so yeah, used to the other yeah. one. I'm using 5th like edition one rules HP. for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm using 5th edition rules That's why I was saying kind of just sleep because I'm dead. Well. Yeah, <laughs> I'm at half. So, yes, when you try and set up camp again, you get that kind of golden field that surrounds you, uh, you know, up to a few feet past where your kind of central area is. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. So, yes, uh, in exactly what you thought, Galen, cure disease doesn't work. Uh, cure curse or remove curse does work. So, Radnar, uh, after, you know, I guess, two days, one day, one day at least. <laughs> well, Radnor could stay outside if he wanted to. If he yeah. really wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you would get, get back all your spells if you mm-hmm. inside as well. Man. So, your eyesight's back, Radnar. You guys can go ahead and replenish your spells. Um, yes, you can kill. You can you can cast your healing spells and cast them one more time while you're in the bubble. Assuming that you're just going to stay the like two nights that it would take. Um, but, well, no. Since if you heal up overnight. Oh, that's day, true. Yeah, know, just the one night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boom. You know, just get that. So I'm currently technically. I'm going to stay here an extra th- three hours when you guys get out. Just so I can relearn my remove curse because that's something more useful to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we just we can just hang out for a bit. I mean, we got yeah. nothing but time in here, you know. I... So yeah, so I'm not gonna since I don't know we don't know about the werewolf curse. I'm not going to say I get rid of that. I, I, I shuffle the tarot yeah. deck and I uh, try to get Radnor to pick a card <laughs> to see if it's one of the shit smelling ones. It's like a little game now <laughs> while we're waiting. Yeah, I'll pick a card. Yep. Sure. Uh, when you I draw a card, a <laughs> uh, you haven't uh, you haven't looked at the card since you left the room, but you pull the card, Radnar, you flip it over. Uh, there is no image. The image is blank. <gasps> no. Is that they're bad? All blank? They're all blank. If you shuffle all through them. them, they're all blank. <gasps> Are they still like nice, to, like yes. card material? Yeah, they just the okay, paintings that were on that. them are gone. All right, I'll paint it at some point. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, it sucked anyways. That old lady didn't know shit. No. <laughs> see, I heard see that. Some crayons. <laughs> okay. uh, so you guys get a good night's sleep. Uh, again, the golden field kind of just goes away when it seems like you're uh, in motion again. And uh, all right. So now what, guys? Uh, you found the, the portal, but you're mm. lacking a few keys. Well, we're lacking we have think. two. Yeah, we you're lacking one. Two. Yeah, you're lacking yeah. one. Uh, I'm going to go back to the ghoul room. Mm-hmm. I'm going to poke my head in. And nobody outside this time. Okay. Hmm, wonder <laughs> why. Are they in the room? Uh, no. The, I mean, the hole's there, but there's nobody just hanging okay. around the hole. Be like, hey, guys, anyone in the hole? Uh, you want to enter the room? I'm not going to enter. I'm just poking my head yeah, in there's, and there's calling no, out. Yeah. No answer. Okay. Hey, hey, guys, we can explore this room. The ghouls are all gone. If we put yeah, two we keys in, can you use a knock spell to eliminate the need for the other key? Ooh. <laughs> Clever. Don't know that as well. Do you know it, Radnor? I don't know it. What spell is that? No. Knock. No. Um, wow, well, there we go. Did we, we we must have found some spell book because I have written down that I have. We had she had a scroll at one. Yeah, you got some spells in the library while you were here. Mm-hmm. Are they scrolls or is it a spell book? Uh, if they're scrolls. A spell book. Yeah, but you can. Okay, if it's scrolls, I mean, I don't know. I've got a scroll of locate object. Mm-hmm. No, that was a spell. That yeah. That wouldn't work. That was a spell. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, we got locate object, fireball, wall of ice, ice storm, and wall of fire. They were all spells. Those were books, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, my gem. I don't know about you, I learned uh, ice storm. I mean, <laughs> we could explore this hole in this room and see what's in uh, it. Which the keys have been fairly widely 
just all over the place. I don't know why the other key would be nearby. Mm. There no, might be. Might, there might be right did. next door for all, you know. It might be behind the gate. I look behind the gate. Is, it, is there a key there? <laughs> yep. Yeah. There's still some rooms uh, rooms down here you haven't looked into. Yeah, I know. Well. I'm just saying it could I'm just saying it could be behind the oh, gate. That? Behind the gate. <laughs> yeah, there no, there? no, there's there's oh. no key just laid behind the gate. Which, which rooms haven't we looked into? Oh, right. Oh, back in these yeah, cells. Yeah, so there's, there. uh, there's one here. Yeah, there's, that yeah, there's one there. there. There's yeah. one here. There. And that's just assuming down here in the dungeon there's other, like, there's mm -hmm. all other floors. Yeah, this uh, this way you found was just nothing. It just yeah, goes yeah. off into yeah. nothingness. Yeah. <clears throat> I can go ask that demon and see if he can tell you the other floor. Oh, he would love to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, let's ignore that and go and try one of these other three doors. Okay. Let's see what's behind door number two. Well, you're leading the way. Which, which door? Am I? Oh one? God! All right. Well, you uh, see it. So. Ping, ping me which which door you want to do there. I don't think it really matters. Um, this one because we can't see it. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> that that's a good as reason as any. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> This is a pretty big room. Oh, ah, there's two doors. Exactly. I told you it was door number two. All right. <clears throat> Since you did this, I'm assuming you're the one who opened the door. I guess so. All yeah. right. So the room, uh, again, as you can see, is quite large. It contains a number of metal vats and cauldrons, some of which contain an iridescent, frothy liquid. Magical symbols are engraved on each vat and cauldron. There are many tables and shelves holding flasks and vials of various liquids, solids, or in powders. Standing in a silent row against the east wall are four human-like beings. All are naked, though two hold short swords. <clears throat> As the door is opened, they they rush towards you. Which end are they at? This end or this end? Uh, so they would be... Let's see, two... East wall. So they're over here. Whoops. Come on. Ping for me. Okay, so they're way over here, and you guys mm -hmm. open the door over here. So you're definitely not surprised. Yep. Plenty of time to see what's happening. These they, look, they look like that figure in the boxing ring. Yeah, I was going to say that uh -huh. amber sort of people. Yep. And I believe this is the game where you've got just an insane intelligence, right, Richard? Like 19 or something? Uh, 19. Yes, 19 yeah. intelligence. So glancing at those mystical symbols, this this is all the apparatus you need to make golems. This is a golem uh, production facility. No. I want a golem. <laughs> Everybody step back out. The golems are attacking. Ah, I want one. That room sounds really fellow. No, I was going to do ice storm. Oh, that get all of, I guess Go I guess fireball is better. Well, either sure. or, take a pick. You'll, you said you're yeah. ice cream, you do ice cream. Are golems flammable? Yeah. Oh, enough heat they would be. <laughs> <laughs> enough heat, everything is flammable. <laughs> napalm. Lots and lots of napalm. All right. Um, so do you want to cast before you close the door, Fig Jam? Is that uh, the idea? Sure, why not? That sounds fun. Yeah, because you will get a whole action, but they can't reach you in one action. Ooh. So you can go ahead and All do right. that if you want. Um, yeah. Let's use Fireball. Rather. We're going to use Fireball. All right. Yeah, use the old classic. Okay, uh, to, in which case, just go ahead and roll me damage. I think they get a save for half. Uh, spell save for half. Yep. Yeah, so four of them. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, my. All but one saves. <laughs> but oh, it may well, not matter, depending on how much damage is coming down. Uh, it's per level, so 76. Do 24. Let's... Oh, okay. All right, you going to take that? Yeah, I think that's all okay. right. Uh, even the one that did not save doesn't die. Ah, oh, no! Yep. What if we cast another fireball? <laughs> there's that there's you that. can see now Radnar <laughs> I, I think that I'm not going to let him upstage me and not have a fireball I mean, come on <laughs> they're not cats, they're not my specialty <laughs> double barrel fireball 
<laughs> yeah, if you want to, if you want to cast, you can. Uh, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a, a glowing skull that just. Okay, I, I I will say I will say uh, just tactically here, Radnar. Um, uh, you cannot cast and move. So uh, to, to cast, you're going to have to you're going to have to be in the room to have line of sight, which means that you and Fig Jam will still be in this room if they're not all killed. Just 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 to throw it out there. Do it. I have a backup plan. Okay, I got it. Okay, go for it. Just roll the damage, and I'll uh, see who saves this time. Jesus I told you Christ, this was so much stupid. I've been doing you guys <laughs> your stupidity. Don't worry about it. I got this. All right. Uh, two of them save this time, which means two of them die. Uh, just go up in conflagration. Two of them look really bad off, but are still moving. Two of them still? Yes. Uh, do I want to waste my fireball? No, I'm gonna... Hey, <laughs> Triple barrel fireball! Look really bad. I know missiles go before other people, so I'm just gonna, like, fire off a pot shot at one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, let's roll the d8 for magic arrow. Nope. nope. And roll to hit. Do you have any magic arrows left at this point? At this uh, point, they only fire on an eight. Chance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, you kill one, uh, leaving right. one of the right. creatures badly burned, badly injured, but still rushing the door. Uh, so Galen hasn't had a turn, and Darby hasn't had a turn. What are you guys doing? Darby, do you want to? Yeah. Shoot an arrow. Okay. Yeah. Galen doesn't actually have a bow anymore. Because mm -hmm. he gave it to uh, C. I hit AC zero. And you kill the last of them. Nice. Whee. Well, kill is kind of a, uh, you know, they were never Frosty really alive. And being animate. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We've also ruined most of the stuff in here with our fireballs. You Huzzah! have. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, pretty much all of the reagents that you could have uh, taken have been destroyed. Um no Let me see what would survive. Give me a second. Success, uh, there, everybody. We have stopped it. There is liquid molten gold on the ground, uh, which you could kind of collect. and <laughs> We could put it, add it to our pile of molten gold we've already got. <laughs> uh, there's some molten platinum. It destroyed all the vials. Uh, the stones will survive, so there's some semi-precious stones. Molten platinum? All right, let me just give you the list. Uh, you guys will figure this out later. And, of course, uh, just by sheer weight, you guys are going to have to collect all this stuff because you're not going to be able to carry it easily. So there's 5,000 gold pieces worth of gold that's now, you know, re it's a puddle. You can just form it into something. Uh, actually, that's a 5,000 gold piece total between gold and platinum. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, 2,000 gold pieces worth of semi-precious stones. So there's several pouches, or used to be pouches. Pouches have all burned up of just semi-precious stones used in magical research and such. And there's tiny human-shaped figurines carved uh, from gold-inlaid black onyx that would have survived. Uh, they are collectively worth 800 gold pieces. Hey, smart oh people. God. Can you create a golem to carry around all this treasure for us? Yep. Nope. Burned it all up. So the only thing that's heavy here are the 5,000 gold pieces worth of liquid gold and platinum. Everything else is fairly small and portable. <clears throat> are these um, small onyx? No, not onyx. What were they? Uh, they are gold inlaid black onyx. They are gold. Right, mm -hmm. okay. Do they look like people we have met around the Yamba place? No, they're, they're too crude. Uh, for any kind okay. of detail at all. I mean, you can make out a head, arms, and legs, but there's no fine detailing at all. Okay. So it's not like Little we've... stone voodoo dolls. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say, and there's nothing like taped to each other. No, of no like, personal pieces. things. No, that's that's exactly. a good thought, but no. They're just used in the process of making the golems. Oh, well. I guess we can't make the dog person dance to our tunes now. Never mind. Is there any key in your lock? <laughs> a puddle of silver. <laughs> oh, no. There are no puddles of silver, so you don't think there was a key in here. <laughs> Good question, though. Hmm. Okay. So, we are missing 48, which must be up here. 
Yep, you wanna who's who's taking the lead on this one? Since they all went and wandered off there and Pokemon and I'll go wander off here and be the one of you. So I'm you're gonna open that door? Back. Yeah, I must be at the back. Alright. So this is an L shaped corridor. <clears throat> Very long, and there are arranged upon the right and left walls of the longer leg of this corridor are little three by three uh, doors set in the wall in the wall they are um, so there are three rows of about 16 and there are three by three doors with handles on them it's also exceptionally cold in this corridor like your your mouth your breath is misting uh, you, temperature is is drastically cooler than anywhere else uh, it gets particularly colder down the long end of the corridor and there is, the is a, come and there is a door near the the back end. Mausoleum. Does the word mausoleum come to mind? Um, not to your character because this sort of thing doesn't really. Usually, they would just be niches, like where you would put mm -hmm. the bones, etc. The having doors uh, are kind of odd. Uh, none of the doors are labeled except there are five that have just like a splotch of paint on them or some kind of <laughs> dye. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll open one. <laughs> it's going to happen. So, so you're going to open one of the unmarked or marked? I'll open one of the marked. We knew this was going to happen. Okay. So, as players, you would know what a, a morgue is. So, you pull it out, and it's like a morgue slab. It, it rolls out of the wall, and there is a body laying there, uh, long since dead. Its cranium has been opened up. Its brain is missing, but the figure itself is in quiet repose. It doesn't look like it was uh, suffered a lot prior to death, uh, but the body is very cold, and the brain is missing. Looks like blood was drained from it as well. Does the uh, race of the person, is this a human? Right or just a human? It's yeah. regular human. Mm. It doesn't have that kind of uh, yellow uh, coloration to the skin that most of the Amberites have. Not all, not all of them do, though. Uh, it's more pronounced. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I'm an Amberite and I don't have the yellow color. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. Right, so that's what's on that slab. Right. What are the rest of you doing? I'm going to catch up with uh, the rest of the crew once we mm -hmm. clear this room, see that they went down the other hallway probably. And yep. I mean, we up. were all in here doing... You were all in 49. Actually, uh, so who's in 49? Um, Jeff, roll me a d6. Oh. Six Secret doors. Okay. Actually, yes. Um, oh, shoot. I just moved the whole map. Give me a second. I'm going to guess this one here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you do find a panel that bypasses that uh, room with all the lettering on the floor. Okay. It would be safer to come back. Uh, we already know the party just go here. Exactly. I mean, I would be going here from the top rather than the bottom because mm. you can spell it out the, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I assume yeah. it's like a one-way system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, it was a cleverly disguised, um, just pivoting door. Um, you, you noticed that the stonework was a little different, and you just pushed on one edge and kind of pivots in place, and you, you can see that magic square room. So a C, you said you're going to go and find Galen. So Galen and a C, yeah. you're in the, the really cold... Uh, I'll be checking something out. I'm just sort of trying to work out what... Galen would think this is, and he's going to probably come to the conclusion this is some weird burial rite, because we don't know about the rooms. So Maybe. Uh, the rite. fact that everything is cold and the bodies are preserved is passingly odd, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's the version of the gentle repose spell. Mm -hmm. I mean, we also, we don't know that much about normal 
pay your bodies and the stuff we need cold just <laughs> It's cold back here. Yes. Uh was there anything weird that you found or Well you see Please. that he's pulled out a tray um out of uh these I several little doors the on the wall. This point. Okay. So it seems like, um, you, I mean, you haven't checked every one of them, but only the ones that have a splotch of color on the door seem to have bodies behind them. All the rest of them seem to be them. empty. I'm opening all of them. You want to go down and open all of them? All right. Go and open all of them. Uh, yeah, you just confirm that each niche, uh, it's a three by three niche, six uh, about six feet deep, and you pull it out, and you know the only ones that have bodies are the ones that have the little marking on them. All of the bodies, if you pull open all of those, uh, have their brains neatly removed at the top of their heads, cut off. Very, very surgically. It's a very smooth cut. Are there names on the, like, plates? You said there were colors where yeah, bodies were. Yeah, it might be some kind of alphabet, but you're not familiar with it. Okay. Mm. As I slide the trays back at the beginning, you clear to my gods. Let's see if they can listen to it. Mm -hmm. thing. Okay. And then, once all that's put away, that door. This goes really open. Okay, so you're the that's one opening it? Sure. Unless the seat beats me to it. No, I got your back. I'll be right back here. Do you want me to <laughs> check it for a trap before you touch it, or you think you got it? I do a door walk in. What all right. Okay. <laughs> uh, this <laughs> is another laboratory. Uh, there are tables with uh, knives and scissors and other surgical tools. A metal table stands in the middle of the room. On it is strapped a human male, uh, quite dead. The top of his uh, head is being removed by this crab-legged creature. It has a grotesque bloated body. It's covered with oily yellow-orange membrane. From, from inside, it kind of bulges here and there like something inside of this membrane is moving. And its lower parts are like crab-like legs. It has several tentacles coming off of it. And when you open the door, um, not that your character would know, but playing is like contemporary lo-fi jazz, like Girl from Eponema. <laughs> just, just softly playing in the background. <laughs> One of the tentacles has a sandwich in it. One of them has like a, a scalpel, <laughs> which he's neatly removing the head of this human who is... Already dead. Mm. <clears throat> so I had to probably pull some ropes up to each other. <laughs> what? I look at the guy, I see that he has a sandwich, I'm like, maybe he's friendly. I'm like, uh, it, excuse me. One of the tentacles comes up. Uh, he, it, uh, you don't actually know where its visual organs are, but one of the tentacles yeah. kind of comes up and almost like a. <laughs> kind of like a halt sort of thing. Oh, I think he. I think More he adult contemporary to... smooth jazz comes over. <laughs> something playing in this wants room. Just to wait a minute. I think he's telling us wait. Uh, I assume he's over sort of around this part of the room. It's yeah, it's kind of in the middle-ish of the room. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'll say bonjour. And go sort of poke around the edges near the door. Okay, yeah. So you're staying away from uh, him doing his work. So in short yeah. order, he removes the brain, uh, pops it into some orifice, and you see it kind of, you, you watch the brain kind of move around inside and kind of bulge out in one, a place here and there. Um, its main body is kind of almost gelatinous. Um, so it turns around, and you can see it has two eyes on, the, on stalks. It kind of looks over at you. Uh, you said bonjour to it. Uh, it kind of yeah. kind of does this thing where it folds up its its front uh, four well, croblets. Well, actually, I see spoken <laughs> common, and I'm speaking in French. Yep. Yeah, it kind of so folds up its front kind of claw legs to kind of bow down for a second, mm. <clears throat> and then uh, hmm, make me a save versus spell. Ooh. Right. I'm go. good at those. Me too. Uh, yeah, yeah, you too. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Feel a little bit of pressure uh, on the inside of your head for a second, uh, but it passes. Uh, the thing kind of, you know, kind of shifts on its legs. You get the impression of slight irritation. 
Uh, is he trying to communicate with us? Uh, hello, what is this? What's, what's going on here? Who are you? I'm Galen. This is a C. Bonjour. Are... Okay. Um, oh, I am speaking in common, because, uh, but since he didn't seem to respond to French, I'm switching over. Well, it did kind of bow down at you uh, when you said bonjour to it. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I compliment him on the uh, on his work. I compliment him in French on his work. I'm like, oh, you do really good work with the brains and stuff. Um, you're saying this in French, okay? So yeah. it, it does the little the little bow again, and it kind of with one of its tentacles, it waves you both over. Uh, I slowly approach. Yes. I'm, uh, James is expecting him to try and grab me and end up with my brain inside his body. Just, just so you know where I'm going with it. Galen is probably a bit more like, he thinks that's somewhere that just came up with it. So. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll approach. I'm, yeah, I'm you approaching. Know. But, you know. Okay, yeah. Um, it starts... Uh, uh, it starts moving the the human's uh, extremities to put it into that kind of resting pose, and uh, you notice that there are vats nearby where it looks like it had uh, removed all the blood uh, from uh, the human beforehand, and it starts to kind of prep it in the way that you saw each of the um, forms yeah, on the slabs. A prayer of my own over the body, then, yeah, respecting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing is quite hideous, and uh, the little bulges in, in his body that kind of press up here and there, you know, kind of in the shape of, you're assuming, little brains. This it attacks me, I'm not willing, I'm not going to be the first to attack it. <laughs> I'm sure if the others were here, you know, there would be a fireball flying around the place. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm too scared to try and fight this thing. <laughs> I'm like, um, I don't think it's going to be that okay. bad, but... Yeah. Unless he's attacking me, I'm not yep. doing it. Yeah. Sure. Um, so the smooth... Do, do the doctor approach of, say hello, knocks us out, then you break about <laughs> The smooth music continues in the background. It's changed to some other song. <laughs> uh, so the rest of you guys, uh, SC and Galen, have been gone for quite some time. Uh, you did notice that he was heading off in uh, the direction across from you. The do he, they left the door open over here. Hey, you think we should go check on them? Oh, yeah. Let's go do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going 48 mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, you guys can hear this, the music coming down the hallway now because they left this door open. You probably mm -hmm. see several of the, the trays left open, so you see some bodies here and there on those trays. It's very cold. Are any of these songs familiar? No, not to, not no. to your character. Damn, no. I'm gonna just hum along. With I them. mean, is it like is it like groovy music or is it like harsh or is it just like <laughs> no? It's like it's lows. like adult it's like adult contemporary soft jazz or light uh, uh, lo-fi. It's, it's just very music. yeah. It's like <laughs> elevator music, very it's calming <laughs> stuff you'd hear like a night lounge. Like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I've got this stuff from that guy in the spaceship that I think would probably make this a whole lot better. <laughs> still still hanging on to some of the space ganja. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 very stingy with it. He might like it. <laughs> yeah, guys, so there's this hideous creature uh that seems to be <laughs> packing up another human body to go into one of those shelves. Look around. Are there any other human bodies? Uh, look in around here? where? In the lab or in the hallway? Well, I assume we, we've made it to the lab if okay. you're describing the horrible, horrible creatures. So, yeah. Alright, uh, make me a save versus spell. Uh, I mean, alright. If I can find the button to push. Which I can't. So I will vamp as I do that. Failure. Okay, you're going to take the failure? Yeah, I'll take the failure. All right, hey, obviously this uh, this fine young creature here needs a hand, and uh, you feel like you should go over there and help him move the table and put the body in uh, one of the shelves. You don't know why, but you feel like this, you know, you guys have been the best buds for the longest of times. 
How dare he use charm person on me? That's my <laughs> move. I shouldn't be using charm person on him. But anyway, yeah, with a, sure. with a 19 not? intelligence, I think you save every day, though. It's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Yeah, Under yeah. Yeah, you know. you help him push the metal table into the hallway and help him load the the body into one of the cold shelves. I see Big Jim helping and I yeah. just start helping too. I'm just like, <laughs> "Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, he needs help? Oh, why didn't he say so?" I don't think he's got a mouth, has it? Uh, uh, no. I don't no. I, I haven't bothered to oh. look. I didn't want to offend him. He must have an orifice. To is this yes. like a golem? Is this like a golem, or is this like an actual? No, game? it's a really odd-looking creature, but it's definitely alive. I'm having a really hard time not casting Radnor's dyspeptic bow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna shit out all the brains. I, oh like I just, you know, like there's not a good reason to do that at this point, but. Uh, actually, Radnar, why don't you make me a save versus spell as well? Um, all right. As well as Darby, since you all are kind of in the room now. Yeah. I'd like to search for a key. Well, it depends on the rule. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can search for a key. He's left the lab, so if you want to roll the, the lab and look around, you can do that. Um, While I'm helping him, can I ask him in French about the key? Because I'm not charmed. Can I just be like, hey, if you, do you know anything about like a, a key, like a silverish key for a gate? Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, or vocal cords or a way to speak to you, but it's very expressive with the tentacles. You have a tentacle that's kind of shaking its head no. Okay. All right. Uh... Radnar succeeds too, so you can do whatever you want, Radnar. Uh, Galen, uh, no, sorry, Darby has walked into the lab after the creature has left um, and is just kind of ransacking it. What are you doing, Radnar? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help him ransack. Before. Okay. Uh, so you guys find uh, uh, lots of uh, very valuable gems. Uh, so, so what it is, uh, there's a lot of equipment here in the way of like saws and knives and, you know, looking like surgical equipment. Some of it is even looks kind of like the stuff you saw in that spacecraft, like very futuristic to you. Uh, are there any books or scrolls? No, at least n nothing overtly so. But there is like a bin that he's just been chucking all the uh, stuff the humans were wearing into. Uh, so, you know, you start searching through there and you yeah. find several uh, valuable gemstones, uh, some coins. Uh, there's a shield in there, a sword in there. Yeah. Does any of it look? It all looks really high quality. The shield and the sword particularly look really nice. The the, the sword is, is long, thin, well balanced. Um, it looks like a noble's weapon. Want I probably won't use it, but like I'll 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 show it to like Darby and and uh, you know hey do you guys want to use this stuff? It's pretty cool. And at the very least, you know we could take it back and sell it or something. <laughs> so you you go through his rummage bin. Um, whoever's taking care of inventory, if you want to take everything, there's a hundred gold pieces worth of various gems, two hundred gold pieces worth of various coins. Uh, whenever you get it identified, there's a shield plus one. The sword is a sword plus two. Is at some point, somebody will time? look at it with their magical sight and figure it out. Is, is <laughs> anyone writing this down? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best note keeper ever, Richard. I you have never seen the notes. You have no idea how good <laughs> the note keeper I am. He is a note keeper. Well, they're better than the notes that I take, which is none. <laughs> yeah. Same. Okay, so gems, coins, a sword, mm -hmm. a shield. Yep, and it looks like it was all just discarded as garbage. It's all just in just this bin. I'm surprised there's a bag of holding there. <laughs> no, no bags. There was one in the Gollum laboratory. It got burned. <laughs> can't hold everything. They can't hold a fire. If there's any other pets, then we might want to grab one. Actually, so that's a, a universal thing in most uh, from most items in uh, BX. Is if it's magical, they, it's typically really hard to destroy. 
<laughs> so fireballs typically is not enough to destroy magical things. <laughs> so that's how magic sight works. You <laughs> bash it against the rock repeatedly and go, yep, this is magic. Yep. Sorry, with my sight. Things can be ruined. Like if you've got a whole bunch of potions, for instance, the glass vials can still shatter, thus ruining the potions. <laughs> <clears throat> Wow, well, I mean, what else does this uh, thing need help with? Hey. Yeah, um, so it, it takes a bit as you uh, you help him maneuver the, the body onto this cold tray. He closes the door, and uh, one of his crab-like legs uh, comes up and uh, dashes a bit of pigment on it. Um, what color? Red. I, uh, I ask him, what do the colors mean? Uh, okay, um... <laughs> What's your intelligence? My int is a number. And it's, it's a uh, good it's number. It's the best of numbers. It's a wonderful number. It's an 11. It's an 11. It's an 11. Okay, 11. why don't you roll it then? You're not quite smart enough. You're playing charades with it because it's having would to it interpret be, through its tentacles. It wouldn't be wisdom? No, this is intelligence. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah, you have no idea. It's it's Fig it's Jam. pantomiming to something. Out. Yeah, <laughs> Fig Jam knows right away. He's got a high intelligence. He's giving you the finger <laughs> and wants another sandwich. But what do the colors mean? It's just the only pigment he has available. It's blood. <laughs> yeah, it's it means he's out of paint. Don't need anything else. There's a whole lot right over now. 47. <laughs> um, hmm. No, no, he, he he doesn't ask you to do anything else. Uh, based upon your uh, your your blooming friendship here, who did anyone else fell that role? I don't think no. so. I think we just fig jam. Okay, just me. Hey, right. buddy, shot me in one of these things. I think it'll be a fun experience. <laughs> Fly onto one of the drawers. Ooh. All right, yeah, he closes it on you. It's uh, yeah, the cold is emanating from the drawers, so it is really cold in there. Oh my god! Get out! <laughs> Start kicking on the door. I was wrong. Out. Oh, I was wrong. I let him out. <laughs> wow, they produce cold. They must have some sort of permanent cold spell cast on them. Um, very interesting. Are you Wait, a doctor? Do I ask him. Um. Actually, this is pretty straightforward. You figured out yes and no. So, yes, yes, he's a doctor. Oh, good. I can address him as doctor then. I don't have to be like, oh, Mr. Creepy Crab Person. Okay, cool. Doctor Creepy Crab Person. Yeah, Dr. Creepy. Uh, he's Dr. an MD. <laughs> <laughs> doctor yeah. what is more like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm just going to be like, uh, hey, doctor, where do you find all these bodies? Are they from people in the castle that, like, died? Or, um, like, hmm. adventures? Or... Okay. I assume, Fig Jam, you're kind of there um, as well. So you can actually translate for this creature, since you're the best of buds. And I'm not making you roll just because your intelligence is so high. Uh, no. So occasionally people come out of that portal. <laughs> what portal? Oh. The, uh, the one in 57 that you're looking for the keys for. Oh, ah. oh, people come out of that? Mm hmm We're trying to go in it. Wait. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Well, that's good that we can know we can get back. Yeah. Yep. So mm. you can kind of talk to it through <clears throat> Kid Jam, who is interpreting... Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is kind of sign language of his tentacles. What else should I ask him? You got any questions, Fig Jam? You know anything that you could ask? Yeah. That, yeah. When are we going to go bowling again? I miss. Oh my god. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> Gotta go get a beer or something. Um, I mean, I don't suppose you've seen any silver keys, Doctor? Um, actually, yeah. He says that, uh, yeah, occasionally people come through with them. Uh, he melts them down for the silver to make new tools. Oh. Doesn't happen to have any currently. I don't suppose you're a 
got a photographic memory and can remember exactly how wide and all the edges on a key, can you? Ooh, you see some of the the brains inside of his form kind of bulge around like he's sorting them. And then he's like, nope. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Worth a try. Uh, do you know a lady that lives in this castle named Catherine? Mm, nope. Oh, yeah. Nope. Do you know anybody that lives in this castle, or are you just alone down here? Uh, yeah. So he knows the the crazy guy that paints on the walls. Yeah, you know, it's, it's that... actually that's why he's uh, he's reduced to using blood as a pigment because the crazy painter guy took all of his pigments. <laughs> oh, did he leave paint behind in the jail cell? Yes. I'll be like, I'll be right back, and I run back to the jail <laughs> cell. I get all the paints and I bring them back. Wonderful, wonderful. And like, I give him paints. I'm like, here, he, we we took care of that guy. He ran off. All right, what are the rest of you guys doing? So, uh, so Darby is ransacking with Radnar. You guys don't find anything else. I mean, there is probably a lot of wealth of this medical equipment that's here, but you really have no idea, like how to use most of it. Uh, again, it reminds you, Radnar, of that. Oh, both of you of the spaceship encounter where you were finding tools that were well outside of uh, oh. <laughs> your, your current technology. No. Um, I don't know. I'm just, you know, just going to continue to look for anything. Um, I don't know, just magical or interesting, or maybe, you know, since it looks like some of the stuff in the spaceship, maybe there's a bag of something laying around. Yeah, um, other than just a lot of what you're pretty sure are medical tools, you don't see anything else around. Nothing that looks like a weapon, for instance, other than, you know, sharp little knives. Uh, really precise, small, yeah. little sharp knives. You're not really seeing anything else. Hmm. Uh, there are several containers of blood. Um, and, you know, and it looks like the blood inside is kept fresh somehow. Can I tell how? Uh, it, it looks like it's the vessel it's contained in. It's somehow keeping it like just at the right temperature, maybe, and just it, it's. You can see that there's something in it that is continually moving the blood around, so it doesn't stay, uh, stay still. Is it like a creature? Or something? No, no, it's definitely mechanical. How big is this? Um, it's like a five-gallon drum. Okay, so it's not something I could like stick in my body. No, no, definitely not. And the music just seems to be coming out of the walls. Continues on. Different songs play. I no idea what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't either. No. Uh, I just have one more question for the doctor, and then I'm mm. willing to move on. Uh, hey, you got a lot of brains in there. Can you teach, like, your, your friend Fig Jam here, can you teach him some spells? Do you know any in the, all those brains that you can teach him? <laughs> uh, so there is a a fairly long conversation <laughs> with Fig Jam. Uh, it, it takes you a, a, a bit to work it out, but you can. So uh, essentially, yes, it knows and can cast spells, but he can't teach it to anyone because he's literally stripping it out of the brains that he's eaten. Can you only do it once then? Or... Yeah. Can you, e like... Each spell just one time from each brain that has the spell. Could you put it into like a scroll, or if I gave you like a piece of paper, like a, I give them the, I show the tarot cards, so like, can you write it down to use it, and then we can like. It, he, it, it absolutely has no ability at magic. He's just oh. able to release the spells that are contained in the brains. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> you want to go on an adventure with us? I mean, like, this seems like a really good lucrative business, but like, you could be really useful, dude. <laughs> Rizma. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so Fig Jam, it's it's actually try it's hoping to find the secret of how this place works. It actually stumbled on this place by accident. The uh, the oh. void that's down this corridor is where he came from. He came from the void and just stumbled oh, nice. into the into the castle. And he's been here a while. He doesn't exactly know how long because he's got no real way to keep track of time. Okay. Um, so you want to know how this place works? 
Yeah, and he's trying to figure out how to get back because he doesn't, uh, just going into the void doesn't do it. <laughs> All right. Well, if we find anything, buddy, then I'm be sure to help hey, you out here. Can we show him one of the, the scroll we have that has the clue? Can we just show it to him? Be like, hey, this could help. Is it, Do you know anything about this stuff that's written here? Hmm. Oh, these names, suppose, suppose there's the names and items. I mean, he's yeah. shuffled through a lot of brains. So yeah, um, actually, that is a good point. Because Let let's me... see, what's it called again? It's. Uh... I'm gonna pull it up and put it on the screen here. Yeah, uh, thank you. I'll hand uh, out twenty-two uh, to those that would be free. Yep. <clears throat> so the secret that will break the curse surrounding Castle Amber and lift the gray mist is engraved on the inside lid of Stephen Amber's casket. To summon Prince Stephen's tomb from beyond space and time, four magical items are needed. The four items, the Enchanted Sword of Silaire, the Viper, the Viper Circled Mirror, the Ring of Eben, and a Potion of Time Travel can all be found in Averone, our old homeland. Touch Ring to Viper's tail, Anoint the sword with the potion, shatter the mirror with the sword, and Prince Stephen's tomb will appear. Search first for the gate of the silver keys, which you found. Um, oh, this was a difference. I'm sorry. Uh, in the in the okay, so the copy that you kept has someone's scrawled handwriting at the bottom of the scroll. The other ones didn't. Uh, Silaire, the enchanted sword. Sephira, Malachi? Question marks. Vions, the viper circled mirror. Gaspard de Nord. Peron, the Ring of Eben, Luc le Chaudronnier, Le Hub, uh, Potion of Time Travel, and a couple of other names. Uh, this is all done in, uh, in just like scrawled handwriting. So perhaps those are people, perhaps those are places. No real way to tell because you don't know any of those names. Uh, if you show this scroll, to the creature he is very interested you see that sh shuffling of brains inside of his fluid sack uh it seems to be pretty animated um he goes uh several times and then he just you know does the the pantomime with his tentacles again fig jam uh unfortunately no nobody who's came through knows any of those names or places another dead end this mm -hmm. is like national treasure all over again <laughs> just another clue uh, but I mean, yes, he's very interested in it, though, uh, because this might be the way he can get home as well. Yeah. Since I, it tells us that the portal can go to multiple places. Mm -hmm. So there's portals out there and all these other different places that just lead people here. Unknowingly. I mean, we were led here, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, no, I wanted to go fucking home and then we ended up here this isn't home this is the worst magical spaceship that we rode ever <laughs> it's a magical canoe thank you very much yeah um hmm. uh, yeah I'll be I like know. all right well if we figure anything out we got to come back this way to get to the gate so uh We'll, we'll let you know if you want to get out of here, too. Because, I mean, I want to go home. I know how that feels. You seem nice. You haven't tried to kill us. Almost everything else here has. It's not been a fun time. That was left up to a random roll. <laughs> <laughs> his alignment is chaotic. Um, I mean, if you find any more, if anybody else comes through and they have silver keys, don't melt them down for tools. Oh, like yes, do yes. We'll keep them this time. Right, yeah. Yep. Yeah, especially when he knows that you need the jack of the silver key. He's like, oh! Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I found three now. I don't know where the hell he knows to. I'm going to go off now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we want more off the wrist of Castle Amber, and he goes off and solves the wrist of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't need you guys anymore. I just needed to know what the keys went to. <laughs> nice, yeah. Uh, sorry, did you have something, Darby? Yeah, in fifty there was gas, but yeah, it was it was um, it, um, it's not there sure anymore. No, right, it is gone. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Wow, well, looks like we explored all the basement. Mm-hmm. Well, this part of the basement, right? Yeah. 
There's an entire the wing of the castle you have not explored. Mm. We didn't go down the hole. You the haven't gone down the there. hole either, right? I mean, we could kick you down the hole. I don't <laughs> want to go in the hole. Well, then I guess we're not going yeah. in the hole. Oh. I wish we still had that fire dude with us. <laughs> Send him down the hole. And he died. Hey, if I was still a floating skull, I could check it out. See, there were bonuses to being a disembodied. There, there were definitely, there were definitely bonuses to that. Yeah. So were you like a lich? No, I just it, it, there was this magic floating around, and I died at the right moment, and my soul got sucked into this skull, and I was just this floating skull that could like bite people, but I could still cast spells. That's awesome. It was pretty cool. I mean, I had no hands or anything like that, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should have seen him trying to open a door. <laughs> it was hilarious. Ah, <laughs> uh. Oh, I mean... It was great to spend some time with you, buddy, but I think I'm done here. Unless you've got something else to do. Uh, find nope. the others and see what they're up to. He, uh, he actually, uh, since, since you're charmed, uh, he actually kind of doesn't release you from the charm per se, but he gives you the, uh, the impression that you'll be helping him out greatly if you find more of these keys and can get the items that are necessary. And, uh, yeah, so that's... <laughs> I mean, That's yeah. our plan. Yep. Me and a, me and your old friend Fig Jam here. We're gonna get you out of here, Doctor. One of the brains bulges out toward you a little bit. <laughs> oh, you're so cute when you're hopeful. Uh, the the, the thing goes. My my spell did fail, right? <laughs> <laughs> the nicest thief ever. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys want to do? Fortunately, uh, the 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 brain creature is not of much help at the moment, but maybe more helpful later. We should find more brains for him to <clears throat> lead. I mean, we could just go and kill Amorites. Mm -hmm. and... Wait. Oh my God. I go back to fifty, mm -hmm. and I'm dragging the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> I drag him all the way back, <laughs> and I'm like. Here, eat his brain. It, it it's only been a couple hours. Um, yeah. What's you, what's your strength? <laughs> what's your alignment? I mean, uh, strength wow. is eleven. There's no way you I'm can neutral. drag. Yeah, there's no. no way you can drag that that creature like, back. But uh, uh, Fig Jam, a... he he <laughs> will relate though that he a dead brain is no good. It's got to oh. be a fresh brain uh, from something that had just at like just died. Or is dying. <laughs> so did you kill all of these people then, so that you could learn from them? Otherwise, I mean... How did oh, no, no. He killed some of them because they attacked him. Uh, and some of them just rudely interrupted his, uh, his, uh, his scientific delving. And he, of course, had to dispatch them. But for oh, the I'm most dead. part, other things in the dungeon <laughs> killed them. And he just got to them quickly. <laughs> oh, well. Nice wow. All right. I mean, if we find anything else that we kill, then, you know, we'll bring it down here as fast as we can. Hmm? Yeah, sounds I good. I mean, how, how long do you need? Uh, well, uh, it, it's, it's as soon as possible. Uh, the brain right. starts dying after a couple of minutes, so... <laughs> All right, and do you need the entire thing intact, the no. body, or nope. can we just chop nope. off the head you and bring just, it down to you? You can just take the head. <laughs> oh, all right, well, if we find any delicious, delicious brains, we'll bring them down to you. <laughs> it's brains, I like brains. Yeah. There, were, there were monkeys. <laughs> so is there anybody that's good aligned in the party right now? <laughs> just just wondering. <laughs> you are? I mean, okay. Technically, yeah. Uh, I All guess. right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is... isn't even on the chart for chart I don't look at myself as a bad person. <laughs> you know? I just, like, but, I mean, honestly, like, 
we all use violence to solve our problems and murder lots of creatures. Yeah. It's the simplest option. Yeah. So I don't, you know. No, I mean, well, oh. this has not got good evil anyway. It's uh, lawful are neutral. Human greater than four yeah. plus one HD and undead are not affected. Four. Charm person. It was the first level spell. Oh, no, no. This one still does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <It's a> <laughs> All right. <boy. coughs> That's Dr. Crab Monster who learned all of these exciting things. You'd <laughs> think his spells wouldn't be higher. Well, I guess actually it'd come from the other um, mm -hmm. yep. things. He said he has Holy no crap. ability with spells as, as himself. Whoever, whoever died here in this place within a few moments of meeting you. <laughs> well, wow, we of, are not well, messing with you, buddy. From this point of view, it might be the fourth level spell charm monster that he's cast. <laughs> <I suppose. laughs> you are hideous in his sight. Yeah. All right. right. So. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, if you guys, you know, basically tell everything that you experienced down here. There's there's no. He tells you that there's no hidden other things down here. He's explored this well enough to know there's there's nothing else. You can step out into the void and see what happens. Uh, he says that it's not very pleasant, um, but he has not been able to go anywhere. But finding your way back once you step into the void is difficult. Huh. Oh. How much rope that. do we have? <laughs> <laughs> 50 feet. You guys ever seen the movie Poltergeist? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. No. No. Yep. Yeah, so the only thing you have not explored down here, which as he has said many times, is the hole in the ghoul room. Other than really that, everything else is done. Really have in the ghoul hole. The key's in there. Now, well, you're welcome to go to the ghoul hole. Wait a second. I've got all these dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Do you need these dead bodies, Doctor Crab Monster? Uh, does he need them? No, he was just saving them in case there might be a future reason. Well, I've <laughs> to... got a few. I've got a now reason. Never mind a future <laughs> reason. We could offer them to the ghouls in exchange for you know silver keys that they might have down that hole, if they have any. I mean, if they don't have any, they can just have a body. Yeah. So where are yeah, you take as many as you'd like. <laughs> I'll uh, take one. And yeah, so he has a total of seven bodies right now. So, yeah, oh. let's just take one body and say, hey, yeah. if you've got any silver keys, we'll trade it. And if not, then you can just have it because so, we're nice people. Big Jim and I will carry the body over and I'll poke my head in and see if they're in there. No. That's um, gross. After, you know, some of their buddies got fireballed in the hallway, they're a little skittish. <laughs> I, well, shouldn't have come up on me like that. That's all I'm saying. Now. So I'm gonna. All right, coast is clear. We can just throw it into the hole and see what happens. I guess. So you want to go into the room? Yeah. I'll Who's go going with us? See anybody? Because he can't. Well, yeah, you can handle yeah. one of these bodies I by think yourself. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you can help. Too. All right. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty deep pit. Um, it's 10 feet wide and seems to go down a fair amount. Uh, there's a kind of a wooden rickety ladder lashed to the side. Um, both of you are human, so you can't see the bottom. It's just dark. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna, no ghouls around. I'm going to put a continuous light token on the body. Okay. <laughs> Chuck it down. And I'm just going to be like, dinner, and drop the body down. Okay. It takes a while for it to hit the ground. Uh, oh. And so far below, you see the little winking light. Uh. Anything? Any noise? Shuffling? No, nothing. All right, and that's a really far way down. Yeah, it sounded. It, it took a while for you to hear the body hit, and then the light is just a little flicker in, in the distance. Oh. I look at the ladder, and I'm like, look at Big Jam. <laughs> You know what? Maybe maybe we shouldn't look go no. No. I don't It's quiet. This. You don't hear anything. What do you think? I mean I'd quite like my continual light token bank, but <laughs> <laughs> I've only got another five of them on me, so you know, it's not as if I, I made uh, them. But uh, no, I got no problems. I mean, I don't really want to go down the hole. No, me neither. Okay, there all are right. ghouls down there. 
Yeah, now that I know it's that deep, uh, I'm I'm good. I'm gonna. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I'm gonna. We're gonna head back. All right. All right. Uh, so you head you back. Search the room. Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys. This is the first time you guys have actually stepped foot in the room. Uh, so if you want to take a look around, uh, go ahead and Jeff, roll me a d6. Um, anyone else searching? By the way. Sure. Why not? Yeah. All right. So all, everybody that's searching, roll a d6. Uh, Darby doesn't find any stonework uh, or any kind of mechanism anywhere. Uh, you're pretty convinced there's nothing in this room, just the pit. Uh, if there was anything in here, the ghouls probably carried it down the pit long ago. Uh, anybody roll a one? Dion, you rolled a one. Um, hmm. No, uh, there's no there's no hidden anything anywhere. Um, but you do find <clears throat> basically there's a there's some holes uh, in various parts of the room. Uh, and it's, it seems like you're not exactly sure what they're for. There's a few on the walls. There's a few on the floors. Uh, but you have no idea what they're for. They're fairly, you know, they're about the size of a, like a half dollar piece. Can I, I don't want to get too close to the hole, but I want to look in one in the wall. You put your eye up See, against one? Is that what you're saying? Not against it. <laughs> no. I want to just, like, get to eye level and, like, crouch down to eye level with it, and, like, a couple feet away, and just, like, does it go in? Does it go through? Like, mm. Roll me a d6. Oh, I'm scared. Five? Okay. Uh, no. Um, it, it goes fairly deep inside. Uh after a couple of it like you can even poke around there a little bit after a few inches it seems to go down uh you really have no idea what it's for it might be just air holes i'm assuming if it's going down there's that pit um i mean i could poke my pole into a couple of the holes and see if anything happens i guess yeah, uh, they go in pretty far, but uh, they they kind of turn, uh, okay. and you can, you can kind of tell that they all kind of turn down after a bit. What about the ones in the floor? Uh, they they're just like foot. straight down, and so like your your pole will go all the way to the tip, and oh, there's okay. still more room. Okay. <clears throat> What's the rest Weird. of you guys doing? I was keeping an eye on the hole while they were searching around, just okay. to make sure nothing comes up and surprises us. So. Yeah. Darby knows about stonework and stuff, so I'm going to point out these holes to Darby. Just, hey, is this anything you might know of in, like, stone architecture stuff? Or Tell you what, Darby. Um, roll me uh, an intelligence check. If you get a high success, you might actually know what these are for. Nice. It's a low success, though. Okay, so you have seen some dwarven construction that uh, have made use of these. Sometimes they are Wait, just used to get. That's a high success because he needs a seven. No, it's it no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Seven, that yeah. I oh, see. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. So sometimes they're used to get air. Uh, to deep areas that just don't have enough, like they're so deep that uh, the air becomes kind of miasmic. Sometimes they're used to vent out gas uh, when there are gas pockets. Uh, sometimes they're used for listening posts. Hmm. Okay, I'll learn mm -hmm. how to relay these informations to yep. see. So they could have various Very uses. Cool. All right, so it's not anything that's too important for us because we're not going in the hole, but maybe we should just leave. <laughs> Big Jam, if you're keeping a look, uh, you know, just keeping a look out over the hole, uh, your little continual light thing just, it's gone. Oops. It's no longer winking in the distance. <laughs> oh, well. <coughs> it was only a cheap necklace. I lovingly cast my spell into that Tennessee just ran me through down a hole. I understand. I, I used mine. <laughs> exactly, but it was my one. I produced, oh. I produced them all. 
Can I have another one? <laughs> no, I'm going to give you the one that I would have given to you to Dr. Crab Monster because he's my friend. Oh, okay. So there is something down, down the pit. Yeah. Well, it's all the ghouls. That's where they live. Okay. The home. Well, I mean, all the ones which didn't get fried. <laughs> so are you guys doing anything else in this room? No. Mm -mm. I mean, we could block up all the holes. <laughs> so, I think that's very nice. So. We're getting back to the garden, I guess. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so go back to the dungeon, bypass the room, uh, and through the room with the gas in it, out the red room, up and around the library. <laughs> it's not a quick thing. It's not going to be a quick thing. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's not going to take, yeah. yeah, take really. that long. It really isn't. Oh, I mean, we can pop back into to dog head. The person. library. Tell him we What's killed all the guards. <laughs> yeah, well, you did. no, I was going to tell it. Actually, I've forgotten about that. I was going to tell him that his uh, champion was dead. Claude. <laughs> there we go. Claude. That's your name. Although we don't know if C killed all the guards. Mm. I didn't kill any guards. <laughs> yeah, you did. The cat things. creatures. Those were cats. <laughs> Humans with cat heads. Yeah. It was a mercy killing. It was a mercy killing? <laughs> <laughs> For treasure. All right. So uh, the places that you haven't been, you haven't been to the north uh, wing. And there are some places. In the, yeah. yeah in, in, in the, the other wing. East, west wing. Yep, the west wing. There's a few. There's a lot that you hadn't done there. I mean, you poked your head into most of the rooms and then just decided not to... Uh, irritate any of the people yeah. there. You were warned that there are a lot of guests. <clears throat> yeah, so we only need one key. Yeah, we just need one key. One key. Uh, well, I mean, as, we, as we're going past the library, I will pop it. I will just say, hey, George, we found your flame guy, your champion. He's dead now. We didn't kill him, but he died. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, what's your charisma? Uh, my cast job person on him. Uh, my charisma <laughs> is something like 10, or is it worse than that? It's not very good at all. Okay. Seven. All right. Seven. So Even worse. There I'm not going to make you yet. roll yet. Um, the yet is contingent on what you say next. So it's like, oh, did the same fiends that destroyed my servants kill him? <laughs> I don't know who your servants are. The room across from the library there. The, the, the bedroom. My cat people. Oh, I, I, can, I can definitely say that no, the same people who killed those cat people did not kill your, <laughs> your champion. No. Okay. No, he died from gas. Yeah. He we went down into the through. dungeon... And there was uh, the, the activity of the PCs were involved in both cases. Well, but... I mean, we tried to save we tried to save your champion, but no, we we could not do it. <laughs> he got the cat people. <laughs> all the, cat the people. Wow. All the literal truth. So you, you don't have to exactly. roll. You don't have to roll. <laughs> <coughs> he's uh, he's not actually too inquisitive. He just wanted to know, like, oh well, if you were there when he died, were you there when my servants died? They're very hard to replace. I was not there when your servants died. <laughs> right in that line. Right in that line. Yep. Yeah. Ah, well, very well. If you, if you happen to come across the fiends that did that, I, I'd very much like to know why and who who they are. It took generations of breeding to get the, my servants the way that... Ah. <laughs> he shakes his head. Ah. Oh, wow. Do you know where we could find another key? Oh, you're, the, the silver keys from that mm -hmm. scroll. Uh, I have two of them so far. Well, well good, good, good. Uh, no, I, I can't say off the top of my head that uh, I have seen one recently. 
Um, actually, give me a second. That may be untrue. I'll, I'll make a roll. Hmm. Um, well, I vaguely remember, uh, there was, there was some keys in the chapel, uh, the, the north wing. Uh, that was some time ago, though. I, I very rarely get out of my library, you see. What about the, the items, the magical items, the ring, the mirror? The well, according sword. to the scroll, they all live in, uh, Averone. They're, they're all there. Uh, Where's Averone? Well, it's on I the mean, other side of the door. Yeah, according to the scroll, you, you've got oh, to pass through. Oh, the... so we have to open the gate and then go through the gate. and the... Oh, <laughs> I thought I'd find it here. Okay. The librarian doesn't decide to fig jam. He's a little slow, isn't he? <laughs> this is why I'm a thief. I'm not smart. <laughs> I, am... I got nothing to say there. <laughs> I, wish I, had so, I wish I had a smart comment to make, but, you know, I'd just get us in trouble by saying something about dead cat people, so. All right. Um, okay, so Northwing Chapel. Look for keys. Sound good? Okay, uh, which yeah. means you'll have to go through uh, the garden again. Um, are oh, you no. guys staying to the path, or are you cutting through? It's really almost a straight line as it is on the yeah. path. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All righty yeah, then. Not much. Bonus the path. Oh, wow. <laughs> what's this one? <laughs> yeah, what's the one? That's all. <laughs> That's some. That, my friend Jeff, is a random encounter that you just tripped. <laughs> So as you head along the path, and give me a general idea of what your marching order is. Who's in the front and who's in the rear? That's just the most important thing. I'll bring up the rear. Does I see said I must have started to go in to the chapel. We'd be in the front. <laughs> no, I just said we should go there, but... Um, <coughs> you know, I gotta make sure Radnar and Fig Jim are okay from behind. If okay. Asir is going to be at the back, I can go in the front. Oh, I was going to say, if Asir is at the back, I want to be at the front, as far away from that <laughs> person who dropped my lovely token down the hole. So, Jeff, Darby's in the front with Fig yeah. Jam. Uh, Darby, what is Darby wearing? What's visible on Darby? Okay, uh, I have a chainmail, mm -hmm. a sword, a shield, so I believe I would be wearing them. Okay. Um, okay, okay. And Fig... A backpack. In a backpack. Okay, Fig Jam, what are you wearing that's obvious? All right, uh, contrary to last time, um, I have a small stabbing stick or dagger and a, tied around a belt where I'm wearing my robes. And I do have a small pouch, because I must have a small pouch, otherwise I cannot carry around spell components. So, okay. that's L and a staff strapped to my back. That's that. Okay. Uh, Bill, what is visible on Radnar? Well, today Radnar is wearing a lovely cloak of displacement by uh, Versace. Mm. And, um, I thought that was Target. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever works. Um, <laughs> but no, it's it's... You know, bald head, you know, cloak of displacement, nondescript sort of blackish robes. I forgot about that cloak of displacement. So Radnar always looks a little fuzzy. You're never actually sure where Radnar's standing. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yep. Okay. Some of us better have packs. We don't want to be carrying anything. <laughs> uh, what's Galen wearing that's obvious? Uh... Yeah, I think he's got chainmail armor, but he does it definitely as a back. Uh, he's got a shield. He's got a mace with either hand as well. Probably also has the symbol of the symbol, this holy symbol around his um, neck. Okay, Fig Jam, is your dagger magical? Um, I believe it is. Yes. Yes. Okay. I bought it magical. Um, everybody, roll me a d6. Look up. 
I'm not surprised. I feel we've been surprised. No. Uh, but Galen, your elven ears pick up a kind of a insect-like buzzing high in the air. Uh, and I, thought, then, I thought I said look up. I said, look yeah, up. you look up, you look around, <laughs> and just as you do so, the buzzing just kind of it just starts out loud as you, you kind of pick it up, and then uh, as you start looking, it just kind of fades away quietly. Don't think much of it. You guys continue on, although I'm sure Galen continues to look to the skies every once in a while just to make sure. Yeah. All right. So... That's one of his traits. Paranoia, look up. <laughs> uh, Galen, roll me a d6. Since you're now yeah, paranoid and you're looking... Oh, jeez. You see uh, something streak out of the sky. Uh, silently, swiftly, takes the dagger from Fig Jam's side, just so deftly that Fig Jam does not notice it, and takes it off into the sky. Do I see this? Uh, only Galen saw it. Oh, okay. Damn it. Wicked Invader! <laughs> I'm pointing at the, the direction. So I don't see the bar. Okay. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. Oh, yeah. your dagger. <laughs> my dagger? Yeah, my, my stabbing stick? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it want, why would it want this? No, all right, fine. I've got 12 more if you need to borrow one. <laughs> Was that um, an amazing plus two stabbing stick? I mean... No, I don't have... Well, I have one of those, but... That's yours. I mean... That was... Oh, Where did it go? What took it? Went up. Went up. <laughs> it went up. Mm -hmm. That way. I my fist at the sky. I believe the phrase would be merd. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so what do you do? I mean, I don't know if I could follow it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't even probably see it. Probably not. Yeah. No. So, yeah I did I see it. Know. I don't think we can follow it. It was really damn fast. Zip, zip, zip. I mean, we could put something else out as bait, but I mean, that wouldn't get my thing back. So, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Oh. <laughs> big, big jam is is just crestfallen. Yeah. Hang on. Don't you uh, know uh, locate object? Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess so. I mean, I haven't prepared it today. I don't know how uh, safe how much I'm do you feeling want here. How much do you want you to dig it back? I don't know how safe I feel here. Mm. So, I mean, I will try to like rest here then okay <clears throat> so the, uh, the golden eagle thing. yeah I it does know. yeah uh, if you set up to rest here in the in the forest uh galen actually this uh, you're probably glad to be back in a forest again because this is a very uh sylvan, this one has idyllic yeah, area a, right that's where i'm per per i'm happy setting up camp in that <clears throat> in the damn forest okay uh, so you do so, and uh, yeah, the the kind of glowing uh, golden mist forms. At which point, I mean, the only thing is to do is to rest eight hours so that I can get locate objects. No, as well. no, no, you just need to. Um, oh no, spend I can just do hours it for him, the Yeah, of the level of the spell, you're right. As long as you're at four points, which you should be, because there's all the mm -hmm. yes. so much. You can easily make it four. So yeah, I don't know what locate object is at a level. Neither do I. Which is why I'm desperately trying to look it up right now. Well, I've never used it before. I, we only found it in that book. <coughs> I don't yeah. know what is going on. Locate. Locate object oh, wow. is a second level spell. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, second level spell. A couple hours. Yeah, it's pretty. Third level spell. Get the information for it. Get up. 60 plus oh, 10 to level. Yeah, if it is more than 130 foot away. Uh, whatever the single dash is, I don't know. Yeah, that's foot, I believe. So, yeah, if it's more than 130 foot away, then I can't 
find it. Mm -hmm. Can I find it? Let's see. Um, let me see the scale real quick. Give me a second. Ten feet. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, it is to the south of you. She's All right, off. I mean... <laughs> <clears throat> Let us retrieve your stabbing stick. Uh, you guys actually remember, though, that to the south of you was that area of grass and flowers that made you really drowsy and started yeah, sucking blood out of now. you. <laughs> we know what we're looking for now. We mm -hmm. can burn it away with mm -hmm. burny yeah. things. I light a oh, torch. <laughs> I get a torch lit and ready in my main hand. All right. Um, all right. So uh, we're at time. Um, so we will start up next time with you uh, going to the lair of the robber fly. <laughs> uh, that's that fly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, right. So uh, we'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, Bill, you got anything going on with the frogs? Um, not much, actually. My uh, Tunnels of Terror 5th edition game just ended last Sunday. Um, I am still running uh, Lost City Baracus on Wednesday nights. And we usually have about one or two spots. So, you know, uh, sign up for Frog God Organized Play and come on over. Nice. Dion. Uh, hi, I'm Dion, also known as Substance is Used, on Twitch and on my channel. I play retro JRPG games. I'm still struggling through Arc the Lad 2, but I did get the secret character, and that's all that I care about right now. <coughs> uh, otherwise, you can find me playing D&D &D with all my cool, awesome friends, like the beautiful DM Bert here on Tuesdays and Fridays, sometimes on Sundays. You can catch me on Saturday tomorrow on Fulsham Arts Channel doing some of the happiest apocalypse on Earth. And if you guys don't know what that means, imagine Disney World, but Mickey Mouse is an eldritch abomination horror. Uh, and uh, I see that like he's not right. And then on Monday, you can catch me doing Featherfall Tabletop in Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Where it's just a lot of chaotic people. I am, I'm, I'm so very sorry. Gosh, I hate that module. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Yes. It's B Bob has been doing a very good job with it though. So mm. and the the group I'm with, like, is, it's a lot of chaos. So it's been a lot of fun. So. Nice. <laughs> Jeff, you got anything going on? Yeah, I'm building mini <laughs> to bleed blood bowl. <laughs> yeah. And I. I learned craftsmanship. So. We're still and expecting that Blood Bowl report once you uh, get your team on the field. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm playing in Bill's game, uh, Lusky of Baracus, on the Wednesdays. And that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, Richard. Hi there. I have no exciting joke for today, so I will merely say <sighs> that I play video games here on Twitch. Under the name LMTDTMFFR, or, say with me now, Limited, limited time, time Offer. offer. No, vowels. no Vowels. Oh, the Vowels. Oh, No Vowels. No Vowels. Right. No Vowels. Sorry. No vowels. Sorry, I got excited. Yep. And Jameis is now returning to the screen. What do you got going on, Jameis? You got a blog of sorts. Yeah, of sorts. I just recently put up a review of the latest Timothy Bronte. Yeah. Still doesn't want to work. <laughs> you can <laughs> drop it there yourself, uh, though. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that's just like this. So, it's like this movie. I think mean, with uh, sort of restrictions, movies are sparse here, but that's uh, slowly picking up. Nice. Uh, okay. Well, if you found this place, uh, you know where we are. Twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder. We stream on Tuesdays, first edition Dungeons and Dragons, Fridays, this BX game. Uh, and Sundays, which uh, potluck uh, this week is going to be Gamma World Second Edition. And on Halloween, join us for our yearly Halloween special. This year, we are playing I Hunt, which is a monster hunting game in the uh, gig economy using cell phone apps. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a pretty pretty good cast for that one. But either way, it'll go off. Uh, check out the podcast at Blue Magic B L U M A G I K. 
there are over a decade of uh, gaming goodness there, and Richard shakes his head every time because we've been doing this for well over a decade. Oh, no, we only started a couple of weeks ago. I'm not that old. Ah, fun, fun. Well, guys, uh, thank you very much for playing. Thank you all out there for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye.